Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. We are in a bit of a strange start here. Um, I started the episode, I started going through these, um, this area. I just basically came down the ramp here, and I killed a bunch of these slug things and collected whatever this was. <laughs> I only see four. Oh, it's Undead Bone Shards. That's what I got, which is very good. Um, the reason I restarted the episode is I realized my mic was not plugged in. Yeah, sometimes I have to unplug my mic, you know, for because I use most of the USB uh, ports on my computer for, like, music gear, things like that, like MIDI controllers. So I don't always have a spot for my Xbox controller. So I deci decided, when I want to play PC games, I mean. Uh, so I had to unplug my mic, and I realized I forgot to plug it back in. Anyways, we're going to go back to Firelink because we have a lot of shit to do. First of all, we got an uh, we've, we got a flask, an SS flask shard. Then we have an undead bone shard which we can use. And we can also probably level up with this many souls. And we can finally get the notch whip up to plus 3. It's going to be all very useful to be honest with you. So yeah, we're going to reinforce our Estus, and we are going to reinforce our Notched Whip to plus three. This thing already... Oh wait, can I do... No, no, what What do I need? I need two large Titanite shards, which of course I have zero of. What about arrows? I could buy a couple of arrows. So let's, you know what, let's just buy 30. Oh, oh no, he always had the war pick. I was like, does he have new stuff? But no, he doesn't. Okay, let's get like... <laughs> definitely not that much. Let's get like 30, I guess. Again, I think I will start eventually... Upgrading my bow. Because that seems like a thing I should be doing. If I'm going to be using this... What I really want, and I don't know where to get, of course... Is the... Oh, wait a second. What can I make from... I completely forgot I beat a boss. So I have new... Items here. Okay, what can we get? This is it. Uh, Deep Soul, which is a sorcery. Sorcery of Archdeacon Royce and his deacon. Said to have been imparted to them by... McDonnell of the Bo Boreal Valley. Fire Dark Soul Dregs. Souls which dwell from the deep pursue their target drawn towards life. Is it like a weak version of Pursuers? And we also have the Cleric's Candlestick. Used as both a sword and a catalyst. Used, to used for worship by the Deacons of the Deep. The Deacons, under the guidance of Archdeacon MacDonald, MacDonald, became both clergymen and sorcerers. Yeah. Can't get a ring, unfortunately. None of these things are useful for me now. Uh, it, they're going to be very useful. Oops. I'm sorry. I just jumped on your head. Don't want to piss her off. Because you never know. Sometimes these emerald heralds slash maidens... What? Why did it... Okay. It must be because I was on the stairs. And it detected it as me getting too far from her. Let's go ahead and start... Let's get more in... Oops. Did not mean to do that. Yeah, we're gonna... I think I'll get these both to 20. And then we'll see where we go from there. Other than that, I think we got everything done. We upgraded. We burned this. So yeah, let's head back to the Keep Ruins and find the third flame. Which I assume is gonna be somewhere past this bonfire because... From what I noticed... This area is large, so I'm assuming there's like four corners, and in three of these corners, we have one of these flames. If I really wanted to, I could warp to the, probably like Wart's bonfire or something, or one of the Undead Keep bonfires, or Undead Settlement bonfires, and have a look at it, because I do remember seeing flames. And this is where the door is. So, let's try and get... Again, there are no, like, real vantage points here. 
where I can like observe the whole area, which I guess is kind of the purpose. Okay. We're not gonna fight these guys again. That's where I picked up the bone shot. Oh, hello, ladder. And you're guarded by slugs. You take a lot of damage from my notched whip now. Wow. I think that's combined with... Yeah, this is kind of... Actually gonna become a really powerful weapon. Plus I'm gonna buff it too. Wait, did I ever finish my train of thought with the bow? I really shouldn't be going here when there's treasure down here. I was gonna say that I really want to get the black bow of Ferris. But of course I don't know where it is. So I'm kind of torn between whether I want to start upgrading my bow. Like this one, the long bow, and just say fuck it. Or wait until I maybe find the black bow of Ferris. Talking about vantage points, this is exactly what I was asking. And there it is. There's the third flame. So let's just kind of orient ourselves. This is the ladder we came up on. And yeah, we just pretty much have to go forward. There is the Cathedral of the Deep. So we enter like right... So actually, yeah, the third fire is to the left of the entrance, I guess. Because I went to the right. Alright, did I explore this whole thing? Oh, no, I didn't, apparently. Oh, shit, it's gonna get away. It's gonna get away. No, it's not. Keep getting these Twinkling Tight Knights where, as I'd rather have large shards or something. It looks like the Crystal Lizards here are have preset... Oh, nice, a bonfire. Preset drops. And there's a wolf in the corner. What is this? Pray to the old wolf. Oh, this is the watchdogs. I got invaded by these guys. I mean, since you're pretty much free to switch covenants in this game, there's absolutely no reason not to join all the covenants and... I don't have this. And um, get all the trophies. Not that I'm like a, that much of a trophy whore, but still. Still prefer being a warrior of sunlight. Ancient medallic... In sorry. Ancient medallion depicting the crest of a wolf symbolizes the pact with the old wolf of Farron, equipped to pledge oneself to the watchdogs of Farron. The watchdogs ensure that the warriors sleep in serenity by taking the form of loyal spirits and hunting down those who would tr trespass the woods of Farron. Again, even when I got invaded by these guys, I said that they appear to be very similar to the forest hunters. And that's pretty much exactly the case. Except this time they're led by a dog, not a wolf. So I assume, where is this gonna lead though? Now that I think about it. That's actually a nice view. Wow, that's really nice. Again, this game is pretty. I mean, it's not like top tier graphics, but I like it. It has a strong, good art style like all the Souls games. That's pretty much all you need. There's the coast. It's a very jagged coast right there. There's the Cathedral of the Deep. It's a big... That's why it took so long to explore that thing. So that way should be the Undead Settlement. So we are pretty... That's where we enter. That's the Road of Sacrifices. Yeah. You know, I really actually do like the way they, they designed this game. Because they still have the Nexus, technically, or Firelink Shrine. So you still do... Wo oh, shit. That's not good. I have 611 souls. So I really technically have nothing to lose if I fight this thing. But um, what was I saying? So yeah, you still kind of have the interconnected areas where you can see where you're coming from and where you're going. But you can also do warping. So I think it's kind of... Because Dark Souls 1 had a lot of that. Okay, we can... Did I... Actually, we can go down here. Again, Dark Souls 1 had, had a lot of interconnectivity. Dark Souls 2 didn't have that much, but you could warp around. And this game seems to have struck the middle ground here. But as to the Covenant, I'm not going to equip it because I don't want to get automatically summoned. I assume... Crystal Lizard. I assume there are some good rev rewards for these Covenants. Um, I know what the reward is for. Okay, heavy gem. 
for Rosaria's fingers is that you can to get a pale tongue you can respec your stats, which is cool. Again, I'm keeping this pale. Is this an evangelist? Oh no, it's a dead pilgrim. This one got the furthest before getting his ass killed. Um, I'm gonna keep the pale tongue around in case I like. In case I like encounter a weapon I, I really want, or if I screw up the stats and I want something. But that's also gonna be good for like my sorcerer guide and things like that. Okay, that's not. These guys don't seem to have gone up much in terms of their strength. I can pretty much one shot them. I like this little side area, it's so kind of quiet up here. After you're like down there in the poison swamps. Really feels good to be up here. I really like, you know, the solitary atmosphere of these places. No. I was gonna say, let's see if I can get a kick. The kicking is so slow in this game. You have to pretty much read. Let's try it. Oh no, I can't parry at this weapon, but I can pierce your shield. Yeah. Which actually didn't, that wasn't a good trade for me. Is there another one? Where did this one come from? Yeah, that's how you want to play it. Yeah, that's maybe it's how you want to play it. Oh god, damn, I missed. This is the enemy I want to die to the least, probably, because it's super easy. Wow, my Estus Flasks restore a lot. Anyways, I didn't really want to get sidetracked this much. It just kind of happened. There's a bunch of Crystal Lizards down there. Oh, if one of these drops a large shard, it's going to be fucking amazing. Because I need these large shards. Yes. You're my other hope, little crystal lizard. Then I can get my weapon to... Yes. I can get my whip up to plus four. Alright, cool, cool. We also have the Dragon Crest shield. This dragon, by the way, is dead. It looks like. Yep, he is pretty much... It looks like he's petrified. Did I get everything? Don't want to miss anything, potentially. I'll just have one more look around. Because I'm probably... Oh, something is... Something is shooting arrows at me. I heard something at least. Again, so the demons. So we were way up there. On the high wall. That's Lothric Castle. It is a gorgeous view. And come on, go away. Okay. So we were up there somewhere. Maybe like right. That's it. I think that's the one. That's where we fought Bo Vort. And then the ne demons carried us all the way down to. Right there. I think that's where they put us. Yeah, it is where they... Because that, that's where all the dead... Um, can't believe I did that. That was re <laughs> really stupid of me. Holy shit. Well, there's probably the biggest fail of this episode so far. And it was, things were going well as well. Well as well. Thank fuck I respawn here, but I'm going to have to wait for this elevator. I'll see how many souls I have. Oh. Huh. Is it coming down? That's kind of a long way to go. Huh. How the hell do you get... Yep. Cool. Had a suspicion... Because it looked like there was no other way to get there. Like, no way to drop down or anything. Yep, hidden path. The first... Oh, and it looks like my arrow is embedded in a very strange location. And this is the first time... I'm going to upload this message because this is the first of these hidden wall messages that was actually correct. I'm going to read the description in a bit, but I'll get back to my souls. It's probably not a lot. And I'll decide whether to even to attempt to fight. It looked like an asylum demon. It's probably really fucking strong. So I'm kind of tempted to not fight it. But then again, I feel like if I... Oh, they put my... 
I couldn't leave my souls down here. It's kind of annoying. You know what? Screw it. I'm willing to... I'm willing to give up a Ring of Sacrifice. Nah, actually, you know what? Screw it. That's not that much... That... that blah, blah, blah. Can't even talk. I don't have that many souls there. I only killed a couple of hollows. So I'm gonna try this guy. It's probably gonna destroy me. And then we'll move on. Again, I just feel like I might not ever come back here. Oh, he's taking decent damage. So I know I'm like not under level for him. The only thing is, I'm afraid he deals a lot of that. Oh. This thing looks weird. It, he looks like a different asylum demon. Okay, well, at least... He's not unbeatable. Shouldn't run out of stamina. This really should be a boss fight. Oh, Tails, that's new. Wow, that was actually pretty easy. A lot easier than I thought. Maybe because this weapon is really powerful. That made a weird noise when he died. Ember. We have Great Axe. And another Ember. So we got the Soul of the Stray Demon. Right. The hell? There it is. Soul of a stray demon, we all know. Used to acquire numerous souls. Yeah, we know that. The stray demon, now lacking even a trace of flame, was once the gatekeeper of Lothric. Huh. That's interesting. So he basically, like, went hollow or something. Great axe. If one possesses the inhuman strength required to lift the weapon, the great heft of its attacks will send foes flying. However, since every swing makes use of one's entire body, attacks leave the wielder wide open to retaliation. Pretty much every single axe has this description. But again, I'm glad I managed to get through this uh, battle here. Because I was expecting something tougher. Maybe this, again, maybe this spear is just really powerful. Because, oh, you know, because maybe I was getting a lot of critical hits. What is the crit rating on this weapon? That's what I want to check out if we can. No, it's a 100 actually. Okay, well, okay. Then maybe I wasn't. I mean, criticals still apply. The only thing is... But actually, see, now I'm getting confused. Which one is... I can never tell the difference between criticals. I know... Because there is a counter mechanic in this game. But I don't know if that's... Uh, influenced by your critical rating as well on your weapon. It should be. It was in... I'm not gonna die to these guys. It was in Dark Souls um, 2, I think. That's why katanas were so powerful. These guys are gonna follow me. Doesn't look like it. Because I wanna get the fuck out of here. And we're gonna go back to the shrine bonfire because... I wanna check out what you can make from the stray demon. Pale pine resin. Oh, that's the magic one. Okay. I was wondering, are they gonna call it... Sticky white stuff in this game. Or what was it called in Dark Souls 2? I think that was Aromatic Ooze. Anyways. Wow. Oh. Before we go ahead and do that. Uh, that's in keys, right? Umbral Ash, one who dreamt of joining the Undead Legion. With this, the Shrine Handmaid will prepare new items. In the end, the Dream Chasers who wandered aimlessly... In the rotted forest found a sense of fulfillment. Huh, it's interesting they didn't find just like being poisoned. Because that's what happened to me. Ashen one, what woeful umbral ash is this? This barren dust stuff of a fool won't yield aught. Okay. Where didst thou happen upon this dust? Tell me for the sport. Okay. Oh yes, I see. Clinging to lofty dreams in this dying world was the pity. It must come from one most foolish indeed. Wouldst thou not agree? I guess so. 
So, are you gonna sell new stuff? I guess so. Blooming purple. I don't know if she always had that or not. This is new. This is hidden blessing restores FP. I'm not gonna spend time reading the description for all of these. Unless something... Oh. Huh. This is new, isn't it? Composite bow. I don't have the strength for it. Okay. I really want the black bow of Ferris. I just don't know if I'll ever get it. Is this new? No, we've had this. Because I've read this description before. Oh, the life ring is new as well. And... What else? Oh, she now sells Tight Knight. That is really good. Now that she sells that, if I ever get the Black Bow, I can finally upgrade it. <laughs> finally upgrade it. I'm talking like I, I already have it. I should be able to... Yep. Notch with plus four. Why not? Really need to find more Tight Knight scale because it's going to be so good. Anyways, pretty much... Oh, one more thing to check out. Got the Stray Demon Soul. Let's see what we can make from it. Cool. We have Soul of a Stray Demon needed for Boulder Heave. Spew a boulder from one's mouth. What the? Oh, it's a Pyromancy too. Art of a Stray Demon, a stray demon of stilf Stifled Flame. Spews a boulder from one's mouth. The boulder is heavy but shatters easily. So you can be Tremor in this game. That's pretty cool. And we also have... Nice, Havel's Ring. A ring for warriors keen on heavy... Accoutrements? Increases maximum equip load. We all know what this is. This ring was named after Havel the Rock, the battlefield comp compatriot of Gwyn, the First Lord. The art of war has been a constant since ages past. And those who would follow in Havel's footsteps are no fewer now than in his own day. You know what? It never hurts to have Havel's ring around. Especially since I pretty much do have a free ring slot. Because this blue tear stone, I feel like it helped a couple of times. But I don't know how much. And having more equip load never hurts. It's a bit heavier though. But I guess it balances out. Don't know if this actually adds more iframes. But honestly, like I said... There is no reason not to have it. Well, actually, for right now there is, because I'm going to have the poison bite. I'm going to wrap up this episode here. We'll... Oh. That's a really weird thing in Souls games. When you equip something that provides a lot of resistance to something, you actually get a bit of it on you. Like, see, I, got a, I took a bit of poison. It's kind of a weird mechanic. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.